I mean, they uh, left at uh, Melbourne Uni Laboratory, and I've been learning some uh, about the campus going dirt, and it has a uh, mall. Back home in my museum, I have a uh, couple of uh, campus that have a uh, mall on it, and like I'm happy to do the training here in this lab, lab of Melbourne Uni. Back home we got a uh, mold on Tungus. That's why I'm learning how to get rid of the mold. So if you can follow me, come around this way. Yeah, this guys here, they cleaning the mold. Yeah, we we gotta brush it first, get the top layer off, and then we'll spread the ethanol on, just to kill that mold. Minbak. And what we're doing now is dry cleaning. First we have to vacuum this um, mold and then we have to spray it and get this sponge and just to clean this area here and even the back of this painting. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, Sharon. <laughs> the reason why I came to this um, um, Melbourne is to to um, learn about conservation things, how to repair, looking using the different techniques. You know, you know if there's a problem with the mold or anything, you know there's. Some of the st stops we, we learned so far how to clean. So we're just looking at um, using the DynaLite, so a little microscope camera, to look at the surface of the photograph and see whether the mold is like right in the emulsion of the photograph in that image or whether it's on the surface. So we've done a little bit of a brush vacuum, but we want to see sort of what's left. Um, so we're just doing a bit of Examination. Okay. <laughs> in there. Let's zoom in that one a little bit more. Yeah. Now, after you clean it, looks like there's a bit of stain there. And again, you know that web of the structure, there's more inside there. Yeah. It's not like right on the surface. Brown was doing this. Brown was doing this. So I learned more lots of things about in an university. So I've got the skills from university to remind me so, so that giving me skills so I can take it back to Men and Greta and see how I go in and do it. You know, like that I, I learn. You. You. I've been doing that. Casting them out, and I to take it up. We need to do the same way. Put another one, clean, and get a couple water, and make sure it stay clean. Yeah, it takes a bit of practice. Rub it a little bit. Keep doing the same way. <laughs> you can see that color starting to look yeah, good. No, you can see all the mouths. What are you doing yeah. there? Uh, at the moment, I'm learning how to conserve canvas, clean, protect. So basically, it's <laughs> just getting some lessons on how to clean, <laughs> learn. So maybe there's some artifacts back home that I can polish up, restore for the next 
show or whatever if you want to sell it see there's more dirt that's in the next area <laughs> and by the way I can see in this canvas there's uh, lots of stain and like a fly poo uh, or insect poo I'm trying to get clean that some of them you got water sort of water eh? been dripping in this canvas or can see the stain and also I just learning about it to how to clean it and checking with it changing um, wools and yep now I'm gonna try to test it with the needle first taking at them I'm trying to go gently into the um, stain oh, but I think it's not coming out so we gotta probably use some sort of chemical in it so I can go back and show family, friends, our manager, art worker and we tell them we, we tell them that we know how, um, how to like treat it so I'm gonna take all this little while I'm learning about it here take it back to our place and so I can continue and so we can look after our um, canvas, eh? We started the art center to, to in 2009 because our elders were gone and it was never too late for us to learn our language, songs, dance and art. And we have to keep it in books and write it down in English and in language. We do it to the painting boards as well as papers so the tourists can learn language as well. And I'm the artist as well as art worker. And I get ready the orcas and serve my eldest tea. And I keep the art center clean and I talk to the tourists and sell paintings. Yeah, no, I've been part of this program for the first one and it really <coughs> helped me a lot a bit. So, you know, it actually got me out of my shell really. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed it and it took me places and we've been down in Melbourne and see a lot of different things that the big gallery do. And like Sophie, what she do down here, it's really great to see the sort of things that big galleries do and really happy.